All right, well, you know my next guest from his TV appearances on Comedy Central, Showtime, David Letterman, Jay Leno's Tonight Show, you name it, he's been on it. Well, you might know him also from his own YouTube series called That Darn Dennis. Would you please welcome the very funny Dennis Regan. Yeah, hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm happy to be here. They put me in a nice hotel, a real nice hotel, but they screwed up my reservation. Not the, not the Huckabee people, they didn't screw up the, my reservation. No, you don't need to fire anybody. It was just the, uh, the hotel. I had requested a, a no smoking double bedroom. They put me in a no bed double smoking room. <laughs> but I don't complain, I don't complain. I just sit on the floor and smoke two pipes. <laughs> I was in the hotel spa for a minute. I was getting a manicure for the big show, you know? And, uh, and I saw a young couple in there, and uh, the guy had gotten a sunburn. They were getting some cream for his face, and his wife, said, his wife said, I wonder why your nose gets more red than the rest of your face, which that's a good question. And the guy said, I don't know, maybe it's because my nose is closer to the sun. <laughs> now, I'm not an astrophysicist. I'm not an astrophysicist or a physioastrologist or even a gastroenterologist. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I get a better grasp of the situation than this guy. This guy thinks the sun's rays travel 93 million miles through space, penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, come through the exosphere, the stratosphere, the troposphere, turn his nose a little bit red, and then just fizzle out completely <laughs> before they can go another half inch to his face. I mean, if this guy's thinking was correct, tall people would be walking around with their hair on fire and all short people be frozen solid. <laughs> I saw a sign, I saw a sign in the, in the spa uh, for a face treatment. It said, look 10 years younger in just 10 minutes. So that sounded pretty good. So I paid for an hour. <laughs> I paid for an hour. I came out of there looking like a baby. <laughs> like a little toddler baby. It didn't last, so it didn't last. An hour later, I was in my mid-40s, headed right back here to 64 years old. 64, that's okay. I'm still here, I'm in show business. <laughs> I got a manicure. 64, that's, that's one thing I didn't like, though. I took a nap about a month ago, I woke up with a stiff neck. Yeah, I, I hurt myself sleeping. <laughs> you ever had a sleep-related injury? It's kind of discouraging. Apparently, I have to face facts now. I'm getting a little bit older and I just can't sleep like I could when I was younger. <laughs> Heck, when I, was, when, I, when I was 20 years old, I could sleep 10 hours, wake up, and feel terrific. Have a bowl of Apple Jacks and go back to bed. <laughs> now I can't take a two hour nap without pulling a muscle in my neck. Apparently, apparently I have to do some stretching before I turn in. You know, limber up a little bit before I hit the hay. Could be a hamstring next time. Maybe I should just sleep on a stretcher in case you have to wheel me into surgery when the alarm goes off. Just wheel me into surgery. What the heck happened to you? What the heck happened to you? Nothing, doctor, I was asleep. And I just pulled up lame for some reason. And I woke up and I was brushing my teeth and I kind of dislocated my shoulder. And I was putting on my socks and I broke both my ankles. Can you take a look at me, please? My memory's getting worse, quite a bit worse. I'm surprised. You ever walk into a room, you have no idea why you went in there? Yeah, well, I, I might be able to top that. Last week, I flew to Chicago. <laughs> Standing in the middle of Chicago, going, I know I came here for something. <laughs> I, would just, I would just fly to Chicago for no reason. Oh, that's right, I'm looking for my glasses. <laughs> and a piece of paper to write on. By the way, why does Starbucks ask me what my name is for? It's none of their business. It's none of their business what my name is. Just give me a cup of coffee, I'll give you nine dollars, we'll call it a transaction. I know they want to write it on the cup, right? That's the, way they, that's the way they operate, but that's not the way I operate. I've started doing this, they go, what's your name? It's, uh, it's Glarbstintinford. <laughs> what is it? It's Glarbstintinford. Yeah, it's spelled just the way it sounds, Glarbstintinford. Yeah. G-L-A-R-B-S-T, and another T, E-N-T-E-N-F-O-R-D. 
and another D. Glarbston Pinford. Some people just call me Glarb for short, but I prefer Glarbston Pinford. I recently did that at Starbucks, right? I have enough cash, I have the $9, so I'd use my credit card, which has my real name on there. So the guy's, the guy's like, your name's Dennis. You're not Glarbston Pinford. You're not Glarbston Pinford at all. Why did you say you were? I'm like, yeah, you're, you're right. Dennis, that's my given name. That's on my birth certificate and driver's license and everything. Glarbston Pinford is my nickname. Yeah, I got that real early on. I got that as a little kid because my, my sister Peggy was a little baby. She couldn't pronounce Dennis. Yeah, and it just came out, Glarbston Tinford. And then every, it just took off. That's what everybody calls me. My nephews, they call me Uncle Glarbston Tinford. I kind of like it. One thing I don't like is I can't find a keychain with the name Glarbston Tinford on there. A mini license plate for my bicycle. You guys have been a blast. Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Been to Nashville before? Is this oh, first time? I've been to Nashville plenty of times. Have you? Yeah, but I don't think, um, I don't think it was in July. <laughs> uh, it's hot out there. It's real hot. And uh, yeah. not, I see a lot of more skin these days. People, you know, you're not, not so much clothes. <laughs> Have you noticed a lot more tattoos? Tattoos are a lot more yeah. popular these days. Did you ever, you ever get a tattoo? Did you ever get you think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> well, I guess not. No, no, I didn't, uh, actually. I... It's called varicose veins. That's all I've got. It's just, it's like, <laughs> I like that. The only tattoo I got, I got a tattoo when I was 22 years old. I got my girlfriend's name tattooed here. <laughs> Melinda, that was her name, Melinda. And I got her name tattooed right here on my arm. And uh, I regretted it about a week later when she, when she broke up with me. Uh, yeah, six days later, exactly. To be, to be safe. Was it because of the tattoo? No, she met a new guy named Kyle, <laughs> which uh, she wanted to go out with, if you can believe that. That's a stupid name for a boyfriend, isn't it, Kyle? <laughs> Anyway, I was, I was sorry I had uh, about the breakup, but I was also sorry I had the name tattooed on. So the tattoo guy was Big Mike. It was a Big Mike tattoo parlor, parlor. And I went back there to get it removed, but he said he couldn't remove it, remove it so we just had it changed. So it said, uh, Melinda doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> and uh, it was like that for a while. I was okay with it. Like, people kept telling me that was a weird thing to have tattooed on my arm. So finally I went back to Big Mike's again and I had him change it again. So it said, Melinda doesn't love me anymore. Melinda loves Kyle. <laughs> and it was like that for a long time. I don't know, like two, maybe three years. And then I heard that Melinda and Kyle broke up. And uh, I went back to Big Mike's. I wanted to do an update on my arm. You know, I wanted to do an update. But Big Mike said there was no more room on my arm. I was going to say, how much, how the, much of your arm did this take? There was take? no more room on it, so I had him put C other arm on the <laughs> bottom down there. And over here, I had him put, I, I had him put Melinda and Kyle broke up. <laughs> and uh, a couple of months ago, I, re, I, I found uh, Melinda on Facebook. I didn't find her. I wasn't looking for her, but you know how you, I bumped into her. <laughs> and uh, I found that she's been uh, married, you know, three or four times, uh -huh. and she's got six or seven kids. And, a couple of grandkids, and I was gonna go back to Big Mike's and do another update, you know, <laughs> on my leg, because there's no more room on my arms, but I was gonna do my legs, but, you know, you gotta draw the line someplace. Well, Dennis, I wanna tell you something. Uh, I'm not gonna ask you to show your tattoos. Okay. Uh, the audience and I will all be very happy that we're not gonna force that upon you. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> but a great audience. Great they audience. are a great audience. You're a great comedian. We Thank love you. having you. I this is terrific. It. You can find Dennis Regan's tour schedule. Thank See you. his very Thank funny you. video performances. You can also book him for your event or your own personal tattoo session. You can also drop him a line at DennisRegan.com. Follow him on Twitter at DennisRegan333. And you can have his name tattooed on your arm. That might be interesting <laughs> as well. But by the way, be sure to check out his YouTube series. It's called That Darn Dennis.